Good evening, 3D Seeking students, Media Arts 101. For your second A plus post on your website, I am asking you to post two images of your model. Uh, you do not have to create two models. I'm going to quickly show you how to open up multiple viewports. I'm going to remind you what some of these things are called. I believe this is called the viewport or a viewport. This is our scene collection window or collections. This is our properties window down here. These three windows. Oh, we also have this timeline window and I'm in my general layout mode here at workspace. Please notice the space between these windows. There's a little black line. Okay, and like when I get this cursor, it lets me make this bigger or smaller. You can do the same thing here, up and down there. Okay, but I don't want to drag in the line for what we're trying to do. What I really want to do is this. I'm going to drag on one of these rounded corners. Specifically, I'm going to drag from this viewport's rounded corner. What that will let, what that will do result in is a second viewport. I'm going to do this kind of quickly, but notice I have crosshairs. You need that crosshair to accomplish this. Click and drag on the rounded corner. Boom. You get a second window open up. Now you have the option of giving me a second, maybe a different angle from above. Okay, but I can't really see from above. I can't see the donut, right? Like this is a nice view of the whole donut. This angle, it shows me just the icing and a little bit of the donut. Maybe you might want to give me a wireframe view on the second one. So look, we are accomplishing uh, a similar task that our photography students are, which is placing our images side by side in a diptych-like layout. If you want to get rid of the second window, you essentially do the opposite of what you did before. I'm going to click and drag on that corner again. And notice I get these arrows. What's happening is this right arrow represents this window is going away when I let go of the mouse. Let go of the mouse, boom, comes back. Okay, so that was the manual way of doing it, simply dragging from a corner. I'll drag from that same corner down in this window to remove it. Happens kind of quick. If you don't like that, I notice this takes some practice. It literally makes a big difference if you're hovering over options or not, or you know, you got to be really like in this one little space. Okay. Notice too, I can drag from the bottom and go up. And it'll give me a third window. I don't mind. I like three different views. It's actually a really nice use of the space, especially with the shape of this model here. I'm shift middle clicking to drag around. I believe I can do the same thing. Click and drag on this corner to go up into this window. So that got rid of the top window. Bring this back. Okay, um, there's a menu-based option for doing this as well. That is under the view menu, view. The very bottom is area. And then you can do this really quick toggle quad view. On a Mac, this is, what's that? This is shift. I think this is control and Q. I don't know what those are. I'm gonna just click toggle quad view. Look, quad view, boom. That gives us like perfect, uh, you know, I don't know, 45 degree view, bird's eye, and the two side views. So lots of different ways of doing it. Uh, remember, I just want two at a minimum, two at a minimum. I hope you are enjoying rendering with Blender. That kind of rhymed. And um, yeah, can't wait to see what you make. Thank you.